Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick little part here for the series and we're going to be going over some Espresso and the reason why I want to go back to the Espresso is because when we set it up the first time in one of the parts previous to this, I actually missed a couple of things that we needed to do. So this is actually my fault and I completely missed it the first time around so we need to go back and uh, change a few things and I'm going to go over why we need to change them. Also, I'm going over the Espresso again because there's been some users that have been asking about uh, the Espresso setup and more particularly why their gun was not working correctly and that their math node, which we have set to divide, had turned yellow. So I'll be going over that as well. So let's jump over to the Espresso for our controller. And you can see my math node is yellow as well and I'll be addressing that here in a moment. But first of all, we need to change a few things. And first of all, we want to change some uh, settings here for the condition node. So when we first set up the condition node, I said that for the time being we could leave the data type set to real and the input 2 we would set to 1. When actually, input 2 needs to be 0 and input 3 needs to be 1. However, before we change those, the data type is also wrong. So what we want to do is we want to change this to bool because we are using a bool for the switch. So now we have input 2 and input 3 which is represented by these two inputs here. So basically what's happening is this muzzle flash controller here which we have in the viewport is turning the gun on and off. Now when the switch is off it's outputting a value of 0. When the switch is on it's outputting a value of 1. So that's going over here into the condition switch via the switch input port here. And when the switch is off, it uses this first input value. And of course, in this case, represented by input 2, there's nothing there. So that's going to be a value of 0. But when the switch is turned on, it's going to switch to the second input, which is this bottom one here. And of course, it's still turned to off on that one as well. So we need to activate that one to turn it on which is going to give us a value of 1. So now we have the uh, muzzle flash controller coming through the condition switch and it's just switching between these two inputs depending on whether it is off or on. And of course it's giving us these two inputs over here to activate. Now to be quite honest, since we're dealing with values of 1 and 0, we probably don't even need this condition node. We could probably just connect the muzzle flash on and off switch directly to the math node and then also directly to the particle number here for the standard emitter because it's all uh, giving the same amount of value uh, 1 and 0 no matter whether we're using this condition node or not. So. Now we've got the condition node set to bool. We've turned on the input number three here. And what we want to do is talk about the divide node because some things need to be changed on it as well. So first of all, we want to change the data type to integer. And the reason that we do this is because integer represents whole numbers. However, in the case of real, that would be a number that has a decimal point such as 3.1 or 7.9 or some number with a decimal. However, integers do not have decimals. So we're just going to use integer for this because we're not dealing with any numbers that contain decimals. Okay, so now you can see that we set all this up properly the way it should be, but our math node is still yellow. Now anytime you have a node in your Espresso that turns yellow, that simply means that there is an error somewhere. Somewhere along the line you've got some type of problem. And in this case, since the math node uh, is using information from the time node and this condition switch, that means there's only two possibilities of a problem. So we can take a look at the time node and we can see that the math node is getting the first input from the frame which means whatever frame you're on, that is the value that's going to come out and be piped into the first input. So we're on frame 0, so this is outputting a value of 0. And if we were up here on, say, frame 40, then there's going to be a value of 40 coming out of that uh, frame port there for the time node. 
So that really doesn't seem like that would be the problem. So there's only one more possibility that could be causing the problem and that is the bottom input which is the condition node. So we have to determine what is coming out of the output that's going into the second input for the math node and of course it's ones and zeros. So when the switch is off we have a value of zero and when the switch is on we have a value of one. So right now the switch is turned off and if we hit play, okay, the switch is turned off which means we're getting a value of zero that's being piped into the second input here. So what we have is right now we're on frame zero so we have zero divided by zero or if we were up on say frame 30 we have a calculation error here which is 30 divided by zero and of course we cannot divide by zero so the math node is throwing out this yellow error here to grab your attention to let you know that something is amiss. Now in this case we need the ones and the zeros for the switch however seeing as how this is not causing any instability or any other problems within the Expresso, then we can leave this just the way it is and it will not cause any other type of problems. So if we go and we turn the gun on, okay, so now the gun is on, and we go back to the Expresso, now the math node has gone back to the white color, which means everything is okay, and that's because we're outputting a value of 1 from the condition node. So now we have, we're on frame 58, so that's 58 divided by 1. And of course that would be a correct division. So there is no error there. But if we turn it off, it'll go back to being yellow. So uh, that wraps up this part on the Espresso. Hopefully this kind of cleared things up and uh, gave you a chance to kind of understand it a little better and hopefully fix the problem. Alright guys, so I'll see you in the next part.